Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to show you the difference between duration, work, and e-days. So first of all, let's create a couple of tasks. So task one, task two, and task three. I'll create one resource, go into the resource sheet, Call it Bob. And let's put him on £10 an hour. Like so. So back to the Gantt chart. Now I'll allocate Bob to each of these. To Bob. Just type it in, it's probably quicker. Okay, so he's over allocated. Now this is one day question mark, but if I just put that to one, that will default to one day. However, if I put that to um, one E, elapsed day, you can see the difference. And then I'm going to change this from one day. Well, I'll leave it on one day, but I want to add the work column. So I'm going to right click, insert column, type W to get to the W's and just click on the work column. So you can see everything's just eight hours because all of these are just at the minute one day tasks. Now. If I put one E day like that, see what's happened there straight away? That's gone to 24 hours. Now, if I go into task usage, you can see what's happening there. He's doing 16 hours today and eight hours tomorrow, 24 hours, because it's nearly four o'clock at the moment. So why has that happened? Now, if I click back to the Gantt chart and just let's change these durations. So if I go five E days, what happens there? That's gone to 120 hours. Now that's gone over the weekend. Now, if I go five days on that top one, five days, it also looks like it's gone over the weekend, but it, obviously it's gone past that. Now, if I change the way this is formatted so it sits in front of the task, so in front of the task, so I just double clicked on the shaded area there, click OK. You can see that that's sitting in front of the tasks, but it still shows the actual duration there slightly different because the top one is working days. So that's just working days. I think actually if I just go the other way, it's a bit better. Put it behind taskbars. Yeah, so it's obviously a bit better. Whereas this one is just elapsed time, including working days. So if you put E in front of it, it's elapsed time, including the weekends and every hour in between. Now the, the hours, the work one. Now if I put that to five days, He's actually doing 40, 40 hours work. That's the actual work. Now you can set things to be fixed work. In If you go into, um, if I just double click on the task, you can do that in the advanced tab. I could set that to be fixed work and just set that there. Okay. And that will always be 40 hours. If I put 10 days in there. That stays at 40 hours, even though duration has gone a bit longer. So it's got nothing to do with duration, the fixed work. If I go back into task usage and not task usage, it's team planner. Keep clicking the same thing. We'll get it right in a minute. Second one in. OK, you can see how that's panning out. So he's only doing four hours over that time period and it's been extended slightly because it can't fit that 40 hours in the time that the other one at the top is, which is just a normal duration. So that's what the difference is between just a normal duration, E days, and if you fix the hours. So you've got effort, you've got actual physical time between two dates, and then you've got the duration of the task, which does not include non-working days like Saturday and Sunday. So hopefully this video has been of use. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you on the next one.